Bonnetty Company is dedicated to seeking out, procuring, and sharing information on the finest poor teas for our esteemed clientele. There are four major poor producing regions, all in southern Yunnan, which is widely acknowledged as the birthplace of tea. Ximao, Xishuang Banna, Baoshan, and Lanchang. On our 2010 trip to southern Yunnan, we visited Jingmai Tea Mountain in Lanchang Lahu Autonomous County. In this short video, we show three different types of poor tea cultivation. Tai Di Cha Yuan, Gu Cha Yuan, and Sheng Tai Cha Yuan. Modern commercial tea plantations are called Tai Di Cha Yuan, which translates to hill terrace tea groves. This type of cultivation is comprised of tea bushes planted in dense rolls, often on hillside terraces. These tea plants are propagated from cuttings from an original bush, and thus all share the same genetic traits. The bushes are kept small for easy harvesting, which is done by hand. In this type of tea farming, the lack of genetic diversity the density of plants and other factors often call for use of pesticides and chemical fertilizers. These modern tea plantations yield large quantities of tea and are thus able to meet the demands of mass production. The oldest form of tea cultivation is Gu Cha Yuan, which literally translates to ancient tea groves, also known as tea gardens. Gu Cha Yuan appear to be natural forests, but are actually randomly planted tea trees interspersed with indigenous trees. These trees were grown from seed planted many centuries ago by the aborigines of the mountain. The genetically diverse trees grow in the pristine environment in which they naturally evolved. Over the centuries, Nature has called out trees that were not perfectly suited for the environment. So these trees require little human intervention and are not subjected to chemical pesticide or fertilizer. Recently, the benefits of organic and sustainable farming practices have led to Sheng Tai Cha Yuan, which translates to Eco Tea Garden. This growing method emulates traditional farming practices. Like their ancestors, the tea farmers plant tea trees from seed, and each tree is properly spaced to obtain enough nutrients provided by nature. Other trees are planted among the tea trees to provide a partially shaded environment. Fertilizers and pesticides are rarely used. There are other growing factors that can affect the quality of a tea. As a rule, the higher the elevation of the plant, the better the resulting tea. Naturally occurring minerals in soil can be beneficial or impart flavors. Over a long period of time, the deep roots of the tea trees can intertwine with other nearby trees and absorb their aromatic characteristics. That is why teas made from ancient tea trees are known for their complex flavor sometimes offering hints of camphor, jujube, or orchid. Also significant is the weather, the time of year of harvest, the processing, aging, and of course, the genes of each individual tea plant. All are important in determining the quality of a tea, but Bana believes that sustainable, chemical-free cultivation is the essential foundation of a fine poor tea.